that door just opened on its own! Less screaming, more thinking! This is an opportunity, is it not? Let's go in and check it out. There's a book of ghost stories here, just like before. Could it have anything to do with this puzzle? I feel much safer with you here. Still feel like I'm gonna faint, though. May the Arbiter protect us! The courtesies have been performed. Enter, O oh honored guests. Look! Uh, there's a mirror behind the door! Didn't I see a similar mirror when I was dragged in? That sound... Whoa, whoa, this way. What's going on? There's a voice in the mirror? That voice sounds familiar. Whoa, whoa. are you in the mirror? I finally found you. Madam Shreya? Fixtral Garden has been enveloped by an unknown power. You must be careful. We still haven't found Miss Gwenyphen! I don't know where she went. The task at hand is to save you from this illusion. Come, pass through the mirror and come to our side. Oh, are 
we above Fextral Garden? Hmm. So many bronze mirrors. Could it be that... Boy, this place is changing. It's trying to stop us from escaping. But one of these mirrors must contain the exit, right? Let's check them all. The situation in Fixtral Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here! That sounds like the real Madame Shui Yi! What? The real Madame Shui Yi? Are there pretenders inside the illusion? I see. Do not be afraid. Kuo Hua knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeits. <laughs> What if I can't tell the difference? You must trust yourself. Come. But... Whoa, whoa, sweetie. Come to Big Sister Shua Yi. Ugh, yuck! That judge would never say something so... sickly. Let's go look at the next mirror. This is the exit, you useless brat. Come here. Ah! Madame Shrei can be a bit of a meanie, but she'd never talk to me like that. That doesn't sound like her. Come to think of it, it kind of sounds like Tail. CONSTRUCTIVE CRITICISM! Hm. Let's go look at the other mirrors. The situation in Fixtral Garden is getting- Over here! What? The real man- I see. <laughs> you must trust- Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait, I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. We are both judges of the Ten Lords Commission. Evidently, we are colleagues. The Heliobus that trapped us here wouldn't know that Madame Shrei and Madame Hanya are twin sisters. A powerful Heliobus possessed her tail. It is a power that I dream of having for myself. <laughs> Never knew you were so popular, Mr. Tail. <laughs> Very funny. So, we're gonna... Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait. I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Hanya is my younger sister, but this alone cannot prove who I am. Ask me something else. By decree of the Ten Lords, Spirit Bearer Huahua is skilled and diligent, capable and worthy of officialdom. She is hereby promoted to the position of judge. I still remember the decree for her promotion. That's her! This has to be Madame Shrei behind the mirror! So, we're gonna... But...
Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait, I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Who is Hanya? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Likely through some secret means that I am unaware of. Uh, I didn't have any connections at all. So we're gonna... Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror. Wait. I... So we're gonna... Uh, mirrors again. What a surprise! Look around us, Mr. Tail! I think we're at the edge of the illusion! Maybe these are the only mirrors left? Nice! Come here, Huahua. Come through the mirror. Uh, I need to ask you some questions about myself first. As a judge responsible for capturing criminals, her cowardice is a dereliction of duty. I will reprimand her severely once you leave the illusion. Huh? That doesn't sound like Madame Shui. Alright? Stupid girl! This is obviously a fake! Her tale will be extracted and suppressed after the job is over. <laughs> you fraud. I'll deal with you once I get out. So we're gonna... Come here, Huala. Come through the mirror. I need to ask you some questions about myself first. Her caution is a skill all judges of the Ten Lords Commission should possess. Ha! <laughs> That's a funny way of describing cowardice. Nauseating. It's the most powerful fragment of Ignamar's demise. Who would have guessed it still contains so much power after so many years? Ha! <laughs> You've given the game away! So, we're gonna... Hurry, Huahua. This should be the last mirror. First. She will be expelled after tonight's operation. She is not fit for her job at the Ten Lords Commission. Really? So I don't even need to write a resignation letter? Stupid girl! This is obviously a trick! An insignificant demon. I can't wait to devour him myself. Aha! Not even trying to hide your true colors. So we're gonna... I'm not the best judge of things, but these mirrors... <sighs> not a single one is the real thing! None of them show Madame Shrei as I know her to be. That puppet judge never respected me. But she also never let her guard down. I've spent a long time working with Madame Shrei. She's always known that I'm scared and timid, but she never told me off. <sighs> the Ten Lords Commission never cared a wink about your frail constitution. You're the only one who makes a big deal about it. And as long as you don't drag me down, I don't really care how much of a coward you are, either. Uh, Tail? Ha! 
Hey, hey, hey! Get away from me! What do you know? What are we even talking about? We need to focus! The illusion wants to keep us in, but it can't possibly keep expanding its borders forever. I think there's got to be a fourth mirror somewhere. Huh? I think there's a mirror on that floating island, but it's a bit far away. Oh, could I crawl my way there? Quit stalling and get on with it! I didn't think you'd be able to. <laughs> All these years and you finally started to grow up a bit. Hurry, Hua Hua. This should be the last mirror. I don't want to go back the way we came, but I need to ask some questions about myself to make sure. Everyone is different. A judge is not a soldier. And they need more than just courage. It is the decree of the Ten Lords for Hua Hua to be elevated to a judge. There must be some meaning in it. Just what do those old fogies see in this coward? <gasps> Let's go! This is the right mirror! Uh, are we... Back in Fixtral Garden? You've returned safely. It seems the Ten Lord's Commission is not down on our luck today. Madam Shrei, I'm so happy to see you're all right! Did you encounter anything strange on your way here? <laughs> no wonder she's a judge. Very perceptive. I understand. This isn't the time to deal with Cirrus. Fixtral Garden has been dragged into a powerful illusion by an even mightier Heliobus, and the spirit bearers who went to suppress it have lost contact with me. Huahua, if both Hanya and I are unable to suppress that demon, then you will have to defeat it. Do not underestimate yourself. A Heliobus cannot possess a body that is already possessed by another Heliobus. Such is your absolute advantage as a judge. I know you're trying to comfort me, but that sounded a little weird. You need to start filtering out the stuff you don't want to hear. That's what I do. The Heliobi are aggressive beings, but they cannot shake their desire for a flesh and blood body. And yet, during the 38 years you have worked for the Ten Lords, you have been constantly able to suppress the monster within your tail and maintain your personality. You are already a fitting judge. Be confident. On that point, none of the other judges can surpass you. Suppress the monster. Oh, but I don't think I've ever had to suppress Tail. I guess we're more like... friends? Friends? Ugh. I don't make friends with food! <laughs> Mr. Tail, puny fragments like us were deprived of Ignamar's power long ago. If a little girl can subdue us, then perhaps it's time for some humility. Shut your trap! Though Fury Nox is powerful, we have a chance of suppressing them if we can break them into multiple fragments. You have a sound plan, Your Honor. And since the stage is set, allow me to offer my assistance. Let's find somewhere more open first. Like Swallow Sun Pavilion over there. 
Let's go. again those who can't bury us are waiting to be buried Kafka you've heard the story of Ignamar and the great Heliobus's glorious fight against the general they were an entity born of many Heliobi fusing together but Heliobi are gradually tainted by the emotions and desires of those we possess. We tend to spite each other, and don't like to fuse together. It's like having multiple personalities inside a single head. It leads to... infighting. A powerful Heliobus like Ignamar or Furinox might be able to swallow a lesser Heliobus and placate them for a while. But this internal balance is easily broken when exposed to external forces, just like how we were torn apart and reborn after Ignamar fought the General. Therefore, this might be the way to defeat Furinox. We can cause them to break apart and reduce their power. Then, the Ten Lords Commission can use their sacred vessels to seal up all of Furinox's fragments. I have a question. Why are you betraying your own kin? Why would you help the Sien Zhou when we have sealed you for so long? <laughs> Why? Must Heliobi always have a reason for their behavior? Perhaps I don't want Furinox to devour me. Perhaps I dislike idiots who use force and nothing else. Perhaps I wish to fight the General myself. Or maybe I just want to do a favor for the Ten Lords Commission that will ensure I can leave here in one piece. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission always keep our promises. If you can truly deal with the problem at hand, I will ask for your freedom from the Ten Lords. However, I cannot guarantee the outcome of the appeal. <sighs> How conventional. Fine, I accept. But you better keep your promise, puppet. <laughs> Me and Furinox were furnace mates. I know them well. They're powerful. But as naive as a child, and obsessed with victory, I only need to say three things to incite them. Hey! I'll need your body for a while longer. the general why don't you fight me <laughs> serious what makes you worth my time weakling I've turned this garden into my territory and made the dogs of the ten lords my puppets as soon as the general arrives the Heliobi will have a rematch why should I fight my own at this crucial moment That group of amateurs you put together? Ha! <laughs> They're nothing compared to me. I have already obtained the most wonderful pawn for myself. A piece that once expelled Fantilia. Fantilia? Fantilia! I remember. What a wonderful host. I want it. 
Then send the spirit fairs under your control to find me. If you can defeat this nameless I'm possessing, then you can swallow me up and let my strength aid you in your fight against the general. What do you say? Deal. My pawns and I will show you no mercy! See? Easy peasy. Does that mean all the spirit fairs out there have fallen? What a useless army! Does that mean we'll be fighting our friends? <sighs> oh, do puppets feel empathy? Or do you not wish to defeat Furinox anymore? We Heliobite think of such matters as business transactions. As long as something can bring us victory, we will destroy everything. Even allies and kin. Make the decision. Fury Nox's pawns, your companions, must be destroyed. <sighs> Please come over here. I need to give you something. You two, take this before we fight Fury Nox. This is the Lunambra Gourd. A sacred vessel made by the Artisanship Commission. The Ten Lords Commission has made some changes to it to better suppress Heliobi. After you fight the puppets controlled by Furinox, make sure you seal their Heliobi fragments in here. Also... Her time as a judge has been brief. She is still inexperienced. Apart from that, please also have mercy on the spirit bearers that have fallen under Furinox's control. Mr. Chael, we're gonna fight some really dangerous enemies now. Please lend me your strength, too! Oh, sounds like someone finally learned to talk tough! I would have believed you if your legs weren't shaking so much. Don't point that out! It took me a lot of effort to be this brave! All this time I've just been hiding behind Mr. Trailblazer. I'm such a bad judge. <sighs> Madam Strayee said those possessed by a Heliobus can't get possessed again. I'm the only person who can help everyone. Exactly! You're welcome, by the way. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Quahua, though I am of Ingenium body, I, too, am feeling a sliver of fear. Madam Shrei, you're afraid too? Faced with a demon that can manipulate life at will? Of course I'm afraid. Afraid that I won't ever work with my sister again. Let's go! I will find my own way to defeat the pawns possessed by Fury Nox. And before that foolish Heliobus has realized what's happening, I will suppress all of their fragments within the Lunambra Gourd. So we'll need to activate the Evil Binding Matrix, right? Once my task is done, I will meet you at the Verdant Terrace and activate the Evil Binding Matrix at its Matrix core. Okay. is so powerful, why would they allow themselves to break apart so easily? The stronger you are, the more you underestimate your enemies. Sometimes being weak and humble is the way to survive. Don't expect. 
expect me to hold back? Guard. To the finish! I will dispatch you after the fight is set. Make good the loss! <laughs> Fragments of Furinox have been sealed in the gourd. Thank the Arbiter. <laughs> <laughs> 